Hey everyone, today's makeup tutorial is going to focus on the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. I am also going to be focusing this makeup tutorial on hooded eyes, so if you have hooded eyes like myself, this is going to be perfect for you for the fall. Um, I just, I'm in love with this look. I also wanted to mention before we get started, this Thursday, 8 p.m. EST, 5 p.m. PST, I'm gonna be taking over the Clarisonic Twitter. So please follow Clarisonic on Twitter as well as me. It's Bailey Vander V, no N, because apparently my last name was too long. I'm gonna be answering all of your beauty-related Clarisonic questions, and you have the chance to win a Clarisonic for joining the Twitter chat. So please join us on Thursday. I will be answering all of your beauty-related questions as well as giving you some industry like insider beauty tips and tricks as well. So follow Clarisonic Canada, which is Clarisonic underscore C A and hashtag Sonic Revolution to participate. I also just wanted to mention mentioned that I will be at IMATS Toronto this Saturday and Sunday. I'll be there both days. I will be working at the NYX booth. Come on by, pick up some of your favorite NYX products and I will hopefully see you. Don't be shy. Please come and say hi to me. I would love to see you guys and hug you guys. And now let's get into the tutorial. To begin, I'm using my Paul and Joe foundation primer. This is nothing new. You guys know I love this primer. It's so, it's just the, like the glue that sticks your foundation on and it has an SPF in it. I believe 25. I love this primer. Obviously, the next step is my pore filler by NYX. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is in the shade 2Y05. I'm just using that on a beauty blender. I think for me right now, this may be a little bit too light, but I love the consistency of this. It has a little bit more pigment than the original HD, so to the naked eye, has a little bit more coverage. And for us pale princesses, like if you're a pale girl like me, 2Y05, perfect shade. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. And I'm just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender. What I've been using for the past, I think, month or so, maybe two months for setting my foundation now that we have a flawless base, the Ben Nye Neutral Set. This is just a colorless powder and then my Forever Puff. I just throw a little powder on there, fold the um, powder puff up, and then give it a little rub. And then I just kind of pop that on my face. Oh no. I'm going to be using my Sephora Collection Contour and Tranquil. I do apologize for the lack of assortment of products. My stuff hasn't arrived from Winnipeg yet, so I'm just in Toronto in an empty apartment, as you can probably hear from the echo. But um, this is what I'm going to be using for my contour. And I just like to have a very like flimsy hold of my brush and just kind of flick up from right where the bottom of my cheekbone is. I don't like to enter the beard region, as I say. I just like to flick up here, and it creates a very natural shadow and contour. I mean, that might be a little dark right now, but we'll blend it out. Same with along the jawline. You just kind of tilt your head and just rub it and flick it. It kind of just falls wherever you need it. Ooh. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. I have never used one of these before and I'm super excited to dig in. So, this is what we're going to recreate. I'm going to start off with a little sample pot of my Anastasia Dip Brow. I have the shade Ebony. I'm going to pop that on my eyebrow. From the double exposure palette, I'm going to take Fig. Taking that on a MAC 217 brush. And this is going to go into my crease. Next, I'm going to take Espresso, which is a nice deep brown. I'm using a Mikasa E220. It's just a flat, I think it's a concealer brush. And that is gonna go on either side of my pupil. 
I left the center of my eye bare. There's no product there. I have hooded eyes. It's no secret. Whenever I'm filming or talking to someone, I do lift my eyebrows up. It's just what I do. But if you want to complement your eye shape and add a little bit of dimension, I suggest doing somewhat of a halo eye because it's going to add a little bit of dimension to it. Like I said, a little bit of roundness. So I'm going to go in with quartz and I'm going to put that right on the center of my eye. And I'm literally just going to use my finger for this and dab it right in the middle. Reinforce that brown a little bit. This instantly makes your eye appear more round and more pronounced and it doesn't look like you have hooded eyes. And then I'm gonna take Veiled, which is just kind of a nice satin neutral shade and that's gonna be my brow bone highlight. And I'm just using a random NYX brush. I'm going to line my waterline as well as my bottom lash line into my lashes. This is the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger and it's in dark brown. The reason I'm using dark brown is just because it adds a little bit of like fallness and like warmth to a look without being black and like so like stark and in your face. I really have been loving using um, the dark brown. Back into Fig, and this is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Brush that came with the palette. I love this brush. I'm gonna take Fig, and that's what's gonna be brushed on my bottom lash line and smudged out. And finally, on my inner tear duct, I'm gonna take Blanc, which is this beautiful, like, white shimmer shade on the lower lash line, and then a little bit up along the tear duct here. As always, I'm curling my eyelashes. I love using the NYX eyelash curler. It's the best one. Upper lashes get the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I find that this mascara gives the most natural look. That's why I like applying it on my top lashes because I like my lashes on my top to be really wispy and, yeah, wispy. For my bottom, the NYX More To Love mascara. This mascara I've talked about nonstop for the past month. Um, it just makes my bottom lashes so black. I have not actually tried to build volume on my upper lashes with this, but it just, like, look at that. It's just, I love it. This is how I envision my bottom lashes always to be beautiful. For lashes, these are the NYX Wicked Lashes. This is the number 12s, which are Vixen, and then the number 7s, I don't know the name, but those are stacked there, and you get these beautiful lashes. I'm so excited. I've been obsessed with these lately. They're my favorite. And they're only like $4 or something, or like $5. Like, you cannot go wrong with these lashes. I'll show you my technique for applying lashes This changes on a daily basis because lashes can be difficult. I like to apply them with tweezers just because I have most control and like getting my fingers all up in here, no. My tweezers are holding on essentially in the center. So I apply that right on the center of my eye, right along my lash line. Then I will go from either side like teeter-totter and just place it down with this lash glue. This is a duo lash glue. It's the brush on adhesive with vitamins. It's just so tacky and you don't really need to let it get tacky because it's just tacky. <laughs> um, and then I just play with it a little bit and make sure every little inch of it is glued down. And then I like to go in and kind of squeeze my natural lashes to these false lashes with my tweezers, being very careful not to pinch myself. And this makes it look somewhat natural. Not makes it look like I'm not actually applying a zillion lashes to my eyeballs. While that dries, I'm using the Flexible Hold Clear Brow Gel by Urban Decay on my brows. Love this stuff. Love this stuff. This will be in my favorites video. I love it. And they also come with tints in them as well. Um, but I just love the clear one. Oh, I, love it. I want a little bit of more dimension to this look, so I'm going to take Noir, which is just a black, lightly pat this on there, and then tap this on my hand to make sure there's not a ton of product. Then I'm just going to kind of like carve out my eye shape with this. You may not notice a huge difference, but it's going to add a little bit more dimension to it. 
Coming to Toronto, I didn't pack a whole bunch of makeup as you can see from me repeating products like a ton. But for highlight, I've been using the Ultra Pearl Mania in White Pearl. This is a very light highlight. So if you are really any darker than me, I don't particularly suggest it. But since I am a fair little creature, um, I just have some on my fan brush here. And I just like to pat some on here. It's, it's like a white highlight, but I mean, okay, I'm going a little crazy with it. I'm going to do a little bit of lips mixology today. I have the Urban Decay Matte Revolution Lipstick. This is in the shade Bad Blood. And then the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Vintage. I have a little bit on my hand here. I'm just gonna mix them together and um, hope for a great color. So that's the color I created. Oh, I think that's perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. to mix your own lipstick shades because sometimes you come out with really beautiful ones. This looks crazy but it makes matte lipsticks like activate into matte faster. Like if you have liquid lipsticks. This is the finished look. I really like this lip color. Comment down below and let me know if you guys like it as well. Um, also, I'm gonna be doing a couple more fall tutorials for you guys, I think. So if you have any requests that you would like me to do, leave them in the comments down below as well. Don't forget to join me this Thursday, 8 p.m. EST, 5 p.m. PST. That's so hard to remember. I'm gonna be taking over the Clarisonic Twitter and I would love to chat with you guys. So please follow Clarisonic at Clarisonic underscore CA for Clarisonic Canada and myself, Bailey Vanderby. And um, hopefully I'll be talking to you guys on Thursday. Um, that's pretty well it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you hopefully on Thursday or in my next video. Mwah.